Hi, I'm Karen Shama, Samir Astrologer. Today I'll be talking about Saturday, the 8th of July. So today the moon is in Pisces for the second consecutive day. It stays in Pisces till 7.20 p.m. Universal Time, which makes it a super, super perfect time if you are Scorpio, if you're Cancer, and definitely if you are uh, Pisces. Then the moon moves to Aries and things start, uh, things get totally different. It may get a little bit tough if you're um, Libra and if you're uh, Capricorn. So how's it going to be for all signs? Aries, definitely you need to wait till the moon reaches your sign because before that it's a really useless, very inefficient and very disappointing quality of time. So be careful because all your plans may go in a different way and you may not get what you want. You may even get things that really uh, annoy you. So be extra careful. Uh, but on the other hand, when the moon reaches your sign, it's going to be a beautiful change and it's going to astonish you with beautiful surprises. Moving to Taurus, uh, try to catch the moon in Pisces because it's kind of, um, uh, kind of rewarding, kind of efficient. Uh, it gives you something that you work on, but the moon in Aries will actually um, thwart all your efforts. It means it's going maybe to ruin your efforts, work against you, and you may feel totally left on your own. So be extra careful, especially if you were born on the 13th, 21st, 22nd, uh, 13th of uh, of May uh, 21st, 22nd of uh, April. Let's move now to Gemini. Gemini, definitely uh, the moon in uh, Aries is easier, is happier, is more accommodating and more embracing. So I think it's wise enough to wait for the moon to reach, uh, uh, to, reach Gem uh, to reach Aries, to get things, work on things. Uh, Okay, so it's a, it's a Saturday night, Saturday evening, Saturday afternoon, but it's going to extend to also to Sunday. So I think it's worth, wor it's worth the effort. While the moon is in Pisces almost all morning and noon, um, probably early afternoon, I think you have to be patient patient you have to be patient with all your work your responsibilities and you really need to adapt uh, and find um, a compromise between different responsibilities here and there let's move now to uh, cancer cancer this is a happy day i don't think you'll be affected negatively by whatever is happening around you i think you're strong enough and i think you're capable of handling things as they are uh, as they are, and you'll be very successful, mind you. When the moon moves to Aries, I think you will feel the, the toll, the heaviness of responsibilities on you. And I think, um, everything will turn around, uh, to, I will not say challenge you, but I think it's kind of like when we're at school, we're at school and it's like a drop quiz. Okay. So let's see who really did his, her, homework so basically it's kind of like that but if you want some ideas maybe it's uh, a, it's a message from home it's a message from work it's a message from uh, um, something you have done before but you have to follow up on it or it can be something related to family okay Let's move now to uh, Leo. Leo, basically, it was a very, um, let's say, dumb uh, quality of time. With the moon in Pisces, it's kind of kind of okay kind of time, but it's neither plus, neither pro, neither con. So it's like lukewarm. So you have to do your best to navigate. Uh, so it's not helping. It's not pushing you back, uh, but you're you're in the midst of it. When the moon moves to Aries, that's when you start feeling kind of, it's like the flow is pushing you forward to the, uh, to safety shore. And this is when your mood will change and you will feel yourself happier and you'll feel, you will feel the, 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 um, the help of the universe. I think that's your best, uh, time and you really need to catch hard, hold on tight to that, um, safety rope you know, uh, that the universe sent you to hold on to it because you will need, you need help. You've been kind of uh, complaining about that for the past uh, 
uh, five or six days so now is your chance but planet mars is still there be extra careful if you were born on the 21st 22nd of um, august also please uh, maybe you can be lucky if you were born on the 18th 19th of august let's move now to virgo virgo so the moon in pisces makes you feel a little bit kind of uh, annoyed kind of edgy uh, grumpy um you throw a criticism here and there you don't mean them you're you're you have a a, a baby uh a baby um a baby a baby heart you you're quite loving really but pe people usually uh, misunderstand you so in all cases i think it's going to be a tough morning then things start to get easier and better and you will enjoy a better um evening uh, and Sunday also. So in the meantime, try to take into consideration others' feelings too. And yours also, okay? Let's move now to Libra. Libra, I think it's going to be kind of tough, as I said in the introduction. It's going to be kind of tough when the moon moves to Aries because things seem to uh, abruptly throw, um, a, not a problem, but things may kind of uh, um, shock you or surprise you. Uh, suddenly maybe a friend or someone who's supporting you suddenly is not supporting you anymore and or maybe you find yourself under some stress because those colleagues who were supposed to do their homework their task uh, suddenly took off and it's you whom they find you're still in town and uh, you got the task to do whatever the task was. So you may feel a little bit annoyed or maybe uh, some kind of injustice is happening to you. Uh, this kind of moodiness may put you in trouble, so be extra careful. While the moon in Pisces is easier, you may negotiate, you know, your way around. So that's your best bet. So don't push it when the moon is in Aries. It's not a good time. Let's move now to Scorpio. I love this day. The moon in Pisces is beautiful. The moon in Aries is quite fine, not a problem, but definitely the moon in, Scorp in, in, in Pisces is beautiful and beautiful and beautiful. Definitely, as I said um, yesterday, it's the trine between your sign, the moon, um, Saturn, Neptune, and then also the Sun in Cancer. They give you all the support that you need for any, any big complicated project. You have nothing to worry about. Just do your job, keep your self-confidence and move in. The moon moves to Aries later on, so that would be quite fine. Maybe it's going to be busier. Let's move now to uh, Sagittarius. I like the effects of the moon in uh, Aries. Definitely, it's the the best thing going uh, around you right now. Uh, so maybe you have to put two and two together, get things done, pack your bag, and maybe plan for the weekend that starts with the moon in Aries. Before that, the moon in Pisces is kind of grumpy a little bit and makes things kind of looking dry. Like, why are you nagging? You're talking to children or spouse. Why are you nagging? Um, everything is fine. Something like that. They may even change your, put you in a mood. So, um, take a deep breath and wait for the moon to reach uh, Aries because that's when you will feel happier. Moving to Capricorn. Capricorn, you have to know, as I said in the intro, uh, the moon in Pisces is quite, um, is quite helpful. It's really helpful. It's a trine with the sun, so it minimizes the damages of the sun and, and cancer. But otherwise, everything should be quite happy, quite even, and maybe you may even win a competition. Um, that's a good timing. But then when the moon moves to Aries uh, to form a square with your sign, the sun is opposing your sign, things are not that easy. Things may be a little bit too dry, actually, not a little bit too dry for you and may even cause a headache, maybe a problem with friends, close friends, family members, kids, spouse, uh, maybe parents, you know, something like that. So you have to be extra careful. That's one of the least lucky days uh, in, the, um, in this month. Okay. And it extends to Sunday also. Let's move now to Aquarius. So Aquarius, this is going to be a very nice day. Uh, the moon in uh, Pisces and the moon in uh, in Aries really are really very good and kind of uh, very uh, interesting uh, for you. They're, they bring out some activity, some action, and you would love this action. You've been bored um, 
on Monday and Tuesday, but now you seem to be flourishing and quite excited for a nice um, Saturday and Sunday. So plan accordingly. You will enjoy this uh, this Saturday. Let's move now to Pisces. Pisces, this is a beautiful day. The moon in your sign, then it moves. Okay, so it moves to uh, Aries. This is uh, normal. I think this is one of the uh, the nice good days, and I think you will enjoy some beautiful moments, uh, long moments, hours. Uh, in your um, in your agenda in July, it is beautiful. What more do you want? It's the moon in your sign that rings a bell, rings a bell inside you, inside you, it's an inner bell, or maybe just any kind of bell. It's time to move. It's time to to uh, board on the plane, whatever. It's time to move on, to move on, and you have to make sure that your trip is to a better place or to a better destination or to a better goal okay so it's time for you to make up your mind you have to make up your mind and decide on doing what is really best for your future or at least the near future let's wrap it up with born on the 8th of uh, july this should be a beautiful year a trine between the moon and the sun will help you move forward I think you may uh, think of traveling, of moving abroad, or maybe engaging with different uh, people, different nationalities. Uh, you would love mixing, and I think you will learn a lot. This should be a very happy year, okay? So basically, this is it. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.